The soul and the curse are one and the same. Your soul has grown stronger still. I only hope it brings you what you wish. Level it up. I think I think just a pile of adaptability is honestly what we're gonna do. Um, I'll bring our agility up another four points, which will be quite nice. Not to mention all of those um, miscellaneous resists and a little bit of extra poise too. But um, before we do that, I am gonna go ahead and drop what I need to drop in order to upgrade my equipment as much as I can upgrade it. I need. Looks like we'd need more large titanite shards for that. Um, that we could do a titanite chunk for that. I actually didn't realize that we were still on large titanite shards for our uh, our bastard sword. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still gonna actually hold on to my shards or my my chunks. I'm not so convinced that I want to stick with this armor that I want to drop that many chunks on it. And everything else takes items that we don't have. Okay, cool. So we'll just take our pile of adaptability. Bearer of sea, lest. All right, and it's been a while since I've given it a shot. So I'm gonna use a human effigy. We've got, we've got, we're doing well. We're doing well in general in this game, I'd have to say. Um, 12 human effigies sitting around is a nice place to be sitting at. Um, now that we have a pyromancy flame, let's go talk to uh, this fine lady over here. What does the, what does the message say? Hey, hey, don't, don't you attack my pyromancer. Get out I'm of here. glad to see you. So we could buy pyromancy off of her. Fire orb is an upgraded fireball. Um, there's combustion, poison mist, flash sweat makes you stronger against fire damage. This one here is actually one I'm going to pick up. It's situational, of course, but when you want it, it's quite useful. That's what I'd say, is it's like, you die to fire damage, you come back, you equip Flash Sweat, and then you come I'm back at him, and, and, yes. and you're fine. Um, also, we want to check and see how reinforcing the Pyromancy Flame does. You need Fire Seeds in order to do it. Okay, cool. I also noticed that um, our Pyromancy Flame is actually going to scale off of Intelligence. Be was safe. not the case in Dark Souls 1. Um, and that's really what made... Pyromancy so strong on so many classes, like almost everyone used it. Oh, it's already had 10 million deaths in Dark Souls 2. Rather incredible. You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. It is a kind of... And... I am... You I believe I already talked to this guy in my other save. Do you know? Even I... I'm anything living. What we call... Look, do you see what that... To be alive. We are... And that... There are four beings in this land with giant souls. Actually, he might be saying stuff we haven't seen before. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. 
You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. I wish. If Get at me, invaders. Help, why not proclaim faith in the blue sentinels? When you face danger, the blue sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Yeah. Yeah, I do want to do that. That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Look at our new neighbors. How they fret over all and sundry. Oh, those were better days. Oh, dear me. It really takes me back. You have died many times, yes. I understand. Here, these are for you. What? May they help you on your travels. That's a good ring. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once a great fort, but little of it remains. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back. Hades Tower of Flame lies Hades. beyond the far wow. gate. In the cathedral, the apostles of blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. Have you seen that pit, that gaping hole in the earth? Over there. I don't know what it's like down below, but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Besides, you'll never make it down there. Not without a ladder of some sort. The flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land, beacons to we undead. If you are tired, Try resting beside the flame. I feel like he just the moved like several steps us. down in terms of the level of information he's telling us. He was like, well, here's the first three directions you need to go in order. And exactly what problems you're going to run into. You'll need a ladder here. You'll need to activate this little contraption. There's no problem for the Tower of the Giants. Hint, hint, I also mentioned it first. Or sorry, the, the forest of giants, hint, hint, so you might want to go that way first. Long ago, and then it was like, dude, bonfires, a though. Called a fire keeper watched over each bonfire. She kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I wonder where the fire keepers went. Did you notice any letters on the ground on the way here? <laughs> like the three right here? These Four are messages. messages that have in Drang Lake the flow of poignant wishes, dashed dream. If your will to soldier on falters. All right, he's going into like full on tutorial mode, but I still want to exhaust his dialogue options in case he gives me more things. So I'm going to click talk and speed read through these. I'll try to mention any highlights or let him talk if I see any. You may notice some. These are summoned. If you Summon fear. signs. Do you see the way beyond the All right, excellent. He's looped. Port. Hello. 
It was occurs to me that I should probably go to, uh, <laughs> alright, I've already <laughs> exhausted her dialogue options. I just feel like, uh, like talking to everyone as much as possible is probably a good idea. I've got the, uh, the Way of the Blue Covenant here. That allows you to, when people are being, s being invaded, you will be summoned into their world to fight off the invader. You'll be summoned into their world on the side of the person being invaded, which I think is very cool. Um, and it only happens when you equip this ring. It increases your HP slightly as well. Oh, really? How slightly? Like 40. Okay, that's pretty good, but... Way Blue is not a developed religion. It is a humble prayer that spread naturally amongst those seeking help. When apostles of Blue are invaded by dark spirits, they can receive assistance from masters of other worlds. Oh, so you only actually get help if you're in the Blue Covenant. Huh. I didn't realize that. I liked that he told us that no matter what, we won't actually make it to the bottom of this pit unless we have a ladder. We need to um, get a ladder in here. He pretty much directly said, like, don't try using the catfall ring that we have over here. Oh, <laughs> you do have a rather pleasant scent, a type I'm quite fond of. <laughs> This place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Weird freaking cat, man. Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake. No one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, nothing like yourself. For you have a most pleasant scent that grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> Dude, I think this cat wants me. I think she's into it. Have you made friends with the man by the sea? He's lost everything. Yeah. Absolutely everything. <laughs> You're very happy about that. The only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Covenants are a type of, well, contract, you might say. You give something to gain something. That's the way humans like it, right? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? <laughs> I like how she just hangs a lampshade on the fact that she's a cat. My rank is zero in this covenant. Do you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Long ago they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. If you wish to face greater challenges, speak to the rock. <laughs> I already went down that path, well, alright, lady? You'd just as well not. <laughs> Things were hard after I talked to the rock, but I was also in the wrong area, so I don't actually know how hard the rock makes things. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> this place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar- it Excellent. We've looped that through. We could still buy this ring for 13,400. I, I, I still almost kind of want to try it, in all honesty. Um, she sells some cool rings. Like, they all kind of, like, they're very just interesting to me. Like, reduces damage from falling is okay, whatever. Uh, that one's like, okay, whatever. It's kind of... Like, in, in Demon Souls, I used it a lot, and then in Dark Souls, I think there was an equivalent ring that I didn't use much. Um, this one's really interesting, because this is actually, like, you can get this as a mod for PC, and it really changes the way that the game plays. So it's cool to have it, like, as an item built into the game. It'll make it more difficult, by and large. Um, 
that's like if you have a larger community, like Reddit is trying to come up with a god that they are all going to worship, that they can play together easier. So if you have a larger community, um, that's a way of playing together easier. Maybe I'll do some like live streams. Yeah, go follow twitch.tv slash the media cows. At some point, I'll do some live streams where I try that out and I say, everyone go make your god this and we'll see if we can, we see if, see if we can all play together. That'd be cool. And then this one I've got equipped, but so far I haven't noticed any difference. Um, with the whispers. She does sell prism stones. I've already got 12 prism stones, so I don't need to buy them off of her. But, I'm pretty Nothing sure with- Nothing suited you, I presume? That with what the guy by the monument said, we won't be able to drop down into that without getting a ladder. I'm glad also, to see you Also, someone said you can get a ladder from this guy. Take a so, you know. Whatever. Did I mention before that, well, I'm not from these parts. I was on a journey, and somehow ended up here. The desolation here was disenchanting at first, but over time, things started to turn my way. Yeah, I've got a good few regulars now. They're all strangely desperate and quite willing to pay a premium. Sadly, some of them never come back, but, but I, I try not to think about it. Have you seen that warrior lugging that giant blue sword about? Yeah. I'm no expert, but that appears to be a fine specimen. The monstrous thing has a peculiar design, quite unlike anything found in Volgan. If you should speak to him, would you ask him if he won't sell it? Hmm. I'd have to take another look, but I'm confident I could offer quite a price. I considered returning to my homeland, but I've decided to stay a while longer. I've started to turn a handsome profit now, and I can't bear to give it up. <laughs> he's, he's hooked on them souls. I considered returning to my Gotta homeland, have them. But I've decided I've started to turn. Always open for business. All right, let's go buy the sword. This better not be like some epically long fetch quest where the dude with the sword tells me that he wants the pyromancy flame of the pyromancy chick, and then she's like, "All right, well." You gotta go back and talk to the bonfire near the Lost Sinner. I know you can- I know it's one of the very few bonfires in the world that you can't directly teleport to, but I just- I need a, an ember from it, and then I will give you the sword. But I go there, and the bonfire talks to me, oddly enough, because, like, cats and stuff talk to you in this game, and it's- it, you get it. You get the point. I don't want that to happen. But, clearing the way was your doing, was it? <laughs> Didn't think you had it in you, pal. No, no, no. That's not like it sounds, you know. It was a pleasant surprise, that's all. Name's Ben Hunt. Thanks to you, I can resume my journey. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. The road ahead's gonna be long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> why, are you, why, why are you laughing menacingly? Is it just because you're an NPC in the Souls series? Is that it? I am in your debt. It's a true man who honors his debts, and I'll see mine paid. I swear it by my ancient sword. Speaking of that. Alright, I think I need to talk to him in another location before he might potentially offer to sell the sword. We got a couple new gest gestures, so let's just go ahead and check those out. Alright. And the welcome. Seems like a pretty cocky welcome. The kids these days would say it had swag. I didn't say that. The kids these days would, though. 
Regardless, I'm gonna go talk to the merchant. See if he has anything to add now that I've uh, gone and talked to that guy. Ostensibly for him. It's one of those old-fashioned wrong uses of the word ostensibly. Do you know what ostensibly means? Most people don't, but it means exactly the same thing as apparently. But you sound you to buy a little bit smarter. I considered returning to my home. I considered return. No one cares about your home. homeland, goddammit. Alright. So the Hades Tower of Flame contraption. People have mentioned a way of getting through here. Did the messages say anything. Try woman and then secret. 